Okay, now, what you performed with Carla is called a single record update because it only updates one person at a time. Going back to our directions, sometimes there are updates that affect a number of employees. Okay, one of them has to do with deleting an office. So, for example, deleting records, a whole block of records. You decided to close down the Lewiston office. You're going to create a checkoff list to locate the employees that work there. And then you're going to delete the rows and clear the office filter. Okay. Go back here. Click on Filter, click on Select All. You're getting rid of the Lewiston office, so you check that off. And this, of course, singles out the people that work in that office. Click on both of them. Right click in the row area, delete those rows. The office is now gone. Nobody works there anymore. And then click filtered and clear the filter from the office. The people are no longer working in that office. That office is no longer listed. You then go to filter and you've cleared out the filter. Make sure that everything is selected and you click OK. Another type of global update happens when you have to change data for a whole block of records. So Continental Airlines was purchased by JetBlue. Using the find and replace all method, you change every occurrence of Continental to JetBlue. To do that, again, go to the top of the table, usually cell A1 or A2 in this case. Instead of typing Control F, type Control H. Now, your spelling has to be very exact here. Type Continental. And make sure that it's spelled correctly. Use a spell checker if you have to. Next, change it to the name, the new name of the airline, JetBlue. Again, spelling has to be very precise. And then, instead of saying find next, you click replace all. all right. And you close out the box. Wherever there was a continental, there will now be a JetBlue.